Yeah, and uh, some of the most intense storms that we've had so far this season. Iota is now a Category 5 uh, mm -hmm. hurricane, and you can see just in the last few hours how the eye wall, it's ragged, and then it's really clear and symmetric. Eye wall replacement just finished, and this is strengthening just as it's about to make landfall. And there's a little dot right here. That's Puerto Cabezas. That's where Ada made landfall, and this storm is forecast to make landfall within 10 to 15 miles of the same place, not only with 165 cat mile an hour category five winds, but the same areas in Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, Southern Belize are getting another 15 to 30 inches of rain. So this is just a catastrophic event for several countries in Central America. Again, if you can and you hear of a place to do it, donate to relief efforts. They're going to need a lot of help down there over the next several days, weeks, and potentially months. Our weather, on the flip side, very quiet around here. Lots of blue sky in downtown Omaha. 58 right now, but we have a wind out of the west-northwest that's kind of blustery right now. Upper 50s across the entire metro area. 60 right now in Lincoln, the warm spot, and we have some mid-50s farther off to our north. Wind gusts starting to top 25 to 30 miles an hour across the viewing area right now, but you see the stronger winds off to our northwest, well, they just poof disappeared. But uh, those wind gusts that are anywhere between 35 and 40 miles an hour, they'll slide down here as we go into the afternoon. Here's four o'clock, still a little breezy, but the winds will calm down later on this evening and definitely overnight. So we're gonna have a clear sky, light winds and pretty chilly morning. High temperatures today, 60 from Omaha down to the south, mid to upper 50s off to the north. And the lower 48, incredibly quiet. That jet stream is still off to our north. So the main storm track with most of the precipitation is going to stay in the northern plains, the Great Lakes, the northern Rockies. And we're just going to have little shifts in the wind with fronts coming through here from time to time. The next front stays off to our north. So we're still going to be in a seasonably warm air mass as we head into Tuesday. You can even see the warm front lifting farther to the north. So we'll pick up south winds late tomorrow afternoon, but we don't feel the effects of those winds until Wednesday. That's when we have the big warm up around here and this huge warm air mass is still going to be with us as we head into Thursday. That front's going to stall out. So no chances for rain as we go through this work week until late on Friday, maybe Friday afternoon, a couple of light rain showers, but it looks like Friday night and into Saturday is where we have our best chance for rain and some cooler temperatures. 60 today, 54 tomorrow, near 70 Wednesday and Thursday. We're still going to be near uh, 60 on Friday before the rain comes in. But once we do get the rain in here on Saturday, expect some cooler temperatures in the upper 40s. Not the best weather to be outside, but closer to average this upcoming weekend.